Hello students, our uh, fourth unit is jet propulsion. What is mean by jet propulsion? This jet propulsion can be attained by jet engines. Now this jet engines is differ from the reciprocating engines. Jet engines is constructed by the basic principle of third law of Newton's. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. This is called third law of Newton. Now from this third law the jet of gas is coming out from the combustion chamber gives thrust. This thrust means a force. It is a propulsive power. Right? Now this thrust is obtained from the combustion chamber and this jet of gas is leaving from the nozzle then it leaves through the nozzle then it gives a jet then that uh, force is going to propel the rocket this is the principle of jet propulsion right now there's a classification of jet propulsion basically jet engines is divided into two types air breathing engine and next is rocket engines now the air breathing engine uh, is called because this is if the surrounding air is sucked from the diffuser first of all we are having on diffuser it is a subsonic diffuser then next is uh, we are having compressor and combustion chamber and next is classification of jet propulsion it is divided into two types air breathing engines and next is rocket engines this rocket engines is also called as non air breathing engines because this rocket uh, should contain an oxidizer tank and the fuel tank but whereas in jet engines it is uh, having only fuel tank but the air is sucked from the surrounding and it is given to the diffuser so we are calling it as air breathing engines because this jet engines flights can fly within the surrounding of air within the surrounding of atmosphere when it is leaving the atmosphere we have to give extra supply of air so it is called as air breathing engines right this is the types of air breathing uh, engines first type is ramjet engine ramjet engine here this is uh, the drawing for ramjet engine first we are having on a subsonic diffuser subsonic diffuser is a first uh, stage of this ramjet engine right now the air is getting entered into the subsonic diffuser then uh, the forced air from the surrounding or from in front of the engine is getting uh, air is getting into the subsonic diffuser and it is left and it is uh, given to the combustor or it is called combustion chamber when we are giving fuel then then what happens it gives combustion then the jet of gas is produced then it is given to the nozzle this jet of gas is produced and it is given to the nozzle then what happens that jet of gas will produce thrust and it is going to give force to the jet or uh, flight this total body to for to move in forward direction to move in forward direction gives some thrust this is the principle of working then next is it is on animation uh, picture I gave uh, in my background this is the picture for pulse jet engine simple this is a principle of working we have it is a pulse jet engine the air is sucked from the surrounding and it is getting entered into the combustion chamber it has valves this valves is retained by a uh, retained spring it has the valves it is retained by retained spring then the valve is left open always okay now the air is coming into the combustion chamber through the valve then once the fuel is given then what happens it's giving some uh, fire then in this combustion uh, takes place means then this valve gets locked it gives a closed chamber next is it gives uh, smoke or flue gas no now this flue gas is uh, exhausted by means of an exhaust nozzle then at the time here pressure is reduced now the pressure is reduced means then what happens this valve is kept open then an another cycle of air is going to enter into the combustion chamber then the cycle is repeated this is the principle of working of pulse jet engine right 
Now, uh, this is the three stages of pulse jet engine I have explained already. Uh, for your understanding, I gave this picture here. This is the three steps of pulse jet engine. The next is one important principle of working. This is the main engine uh, for the jet planes. This is turbojet engine. This turbojet engine is used majorly here. The principle of working is first is we are having compressor. Then this air from the surrounding is entered into the combustion chamber through the compressor. Right? Now, uh, fuel is given to this combustion chamber. It gives fire. Right? Then the jet of gas is produced. The jet of gas is given to the turbine. Then from the turbine, the flue gas is exhausted out and it is given to the jet pipe or it may be a nozzle right this is the principle of working okay so now we will recall this picture first step is we have one diffuser second is we have compressor third is combustion chamber then next is turbine the next is nozzle these are the parts and these are the flow process of this turbojet engine see in this picture we are uh, having the compressor this compressor is driven by the turbine itself this is a principle of working of turbo jet engines right this is a 3d picture of uh, turbo jet engines first we are having on a uh, fan and next is uh, called compressor and combustion chamber see this picture 3d picture it is similar to this 2d then next is we have uh, the pictures which is depicting the jet engines there's a practical applications of uh, jet engines right next is right this turbo jet engines in turbojet engine it is further divided into three types simply this is turbojet engine next is it is a turbo fan engine and next is turbo prop engine prop means propeller now it is a turbo fan it means we have one extra part or component it is fan now that fan gives cooling to the surrounding of engine and within the diameter of a fan it gives suction to the subsonic diffuser whereas in the turbo prop engine it has one propeller we are going to give one propeller it is a part in front of the subsonic diffuser it gives extra air to the subsonic diffuser this is the principle of working of this turbo prop and turbo fan and turbo jet engine so in final basically this jet engine is divided into five types first is ramjet engine second is pulse jet engine third is turbo jet engine fourth is turbo prop engine fifth is turbo fan engine these are the five major types of jet engines okay